Illinois. If she wins her fifth tonight, that will equal what Peggy Fleming did not very many years ago. And incidentally, she's leading, following the compulsory moves, both right. figures and free skating. Although Janet Lynn was second in the compulsory figures and second in the compulsory free skating, her combination of marks was better than any other skaters, and so she enters the free skating portion of this championship leading. In all of these moves, watch the stretch of the body, the arch of the back, the pointed and stretched leg, and the head positions. Lutz. Very beautifully done. Ravel's Lavals, she's now going to do an axel and a double. Right here. And a flying sit spin. Janet Lynn of Illinois looking just fine as she tries to win this fifth consecutive U.S. title. From here it's on to the World Championships where she'll meet a young lady named Karen Magnuson of Canada. Karen Magnuson's strong point, the same as Janet's, free skating. Should be quite a meeting. out of the leg. An exceptionally superior program so far, beautifully executed. Janet is leading, coming into this event. She was second at the end of the figures and second at the end of the compulsory free skating, and she needs this performance so far. Look at that beautiful double axel. It's of skating like this that world championships are made. Janet Lynn looking just fine, just great. We first saw her when she was 14 years old, and now she's 19 in the full flower of her championship form. <laughs> Little Janet Lynn. And Dorothy Hamill has to skate after watching that. Pretty tough. 